12, 13, 14. Hmm. With uh, the NNI you know, running the office. What so, is that? This is a, uh, a supercharger out of a, uh, you know, out of an uh, Allison. That really? One right there I just is, don't recognize it. That one right there is a Merlin uh, 224. Mm -hmm. And the one on the back is um, uh, Merlin for a speed fire. And the next one back, it's uh, uh, Merlin for a uh, Mustang. So those three engines, that one right there on the bottom, mm -hmm. and the one on that side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All those engines right there are waiting to get started on. Oh my gosh. And you said you did 16 engines? We have 16 in the, in the shop right now. That we're working on and, and you've got all, and you've got this is a display this one doesn't count but all those right there hmm those are all waiting to get started hmm so so do you do display type engines with you know parts that aren't good yeah, anymore parts that aren't good anymore this we build them we build them up and go to museums and sometimes we change them with something right you know, they might have yeah parts or something there. yeah wow this looks like kermit's place except with engines <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Jeez. Hmm. Wow. You can come this way. Let me turn the light on real quick. More parts. This is also parts inventory. That's a cool little cooler. What's that a little cooler off of? I have no idea. We end up with so much stuff yeah. that is every now and then it's like what? I don't is recognize that? it. Yeah, but somebody somewhere down the road is you probably know, looking for I one. Had, <laughs> I have people come through here and like, hey, I was looking for one of those so things. Like, oh, okay. So yeah. Wow, is that a Dowdy proper? Yeah, this is a different propellers we use for the test running. That's the one we use for the Griffin. one. The one right there we use for the Mustang. The one up on the top we use for the Allison's. And then we have another one hanging on the side for the Speedfire. Hmm. So. Banks, impellers. Oh my God. So now, so so these are all parts, and then the ones that you're working on. But you've got a big storage thing as well, because I think I got some engines stored down there. Mm -hmm. I was here the last time. So this right here is also waiting for for to be overhaul, along with these two on this side. Wow. Your engine is this one. This is this is your uh, your Merlin right here. Uh huh. And then we have your Alice one in the inside. Right. And this is a seven? This is a seven. Right, okay. Oh my God, I, I can't remember. Do you remember why I sent this out here? Uh, I think you bought it over here somewhere close by. In the uh, okay, over okay, here. okay. All right, yeah, because I like so. I, I, I know, uh, I was at Carl's yesterday and I know he's, are you going down there tomorrow? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, so like if, if for some reason, I know because he said something about maybe consolidating some of the shops and not the shops, but one of the warehouses to rent it or something like that. So if any of this stuff's in the way. No, then, you this know, is, he's talking about Mike's area. Right, okay, okay. See, now okay. there's, now there's, uh, there's some Mike side where he has the, trying to clear up the one warehouse. Right. But these warehouses are, you know, we're renting this from Mike. This is this. Is okay, the, I see. Well, you know, my, my point is, I don't know when I'm going to get to something like this. Yeah. If it's in the way, no. I'll get it out of here for you. No, it's, okay. No. no worries. Oh my God. And I've got a Centaurus here somewhere. Yeah. An yeah, 18. Yeah, also Centaurus 18, right? Yeah. Oh. And at some point, I've got my guys working on the, uh, the uh, Tempest 2, which oh. has got a. Uh, 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 Centaurus 5 in it. So, you know, whether or not, you know, that's I think Centaurus I think, 5 is that the, the 30, you know, or is that the, the H? No, 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 no. It's, uh, no, we've got two Tempests. One's got the Napier Saber, the other the one's Napier got, Saber, right. yeah, the other one's got the, uh, the Tempest 2 has got the, oh, the Centaurus in it. But, but, uh, I've got the 5 that was in it, which should be a pretty good. 
you know, deal because the airplane was flying in the 50s and it's always been inside. But uh, but but I don't. I just don't know if the. I was just hoping that the 18 out here. You know, I think the reason maybe I sent it out was to make sure that the. You know, the sleeves might right, be incompatible. Right. Yeah. I know the 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 early engine uses a Bendix Stromberg carburetor, not the fuel right. injection. Yes, yeah. 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 Oh my gosh! This is like uh, V12 heaven. Oh my god! Is this part of the inventory? Wow. Do you ever do or come across any of the uh, the C15 Allison's? You know, the uh, early nose, long nose before? Yeah, yeah, we have two or three over here. We saw Griffin on the back side. We saw Merlin's. The ones on the back and left side also all three C15's. Ah. Oh my gosh. Connecting rods. Not as much as you have, but we have some stuff. Ah, no, you got <laughs> tons of stuff. Have you ever been to my place? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You welcome back anytime you come down. At some point, you know, I told Mike. I said if he ever gets down to, at least come down and kick the cylinders on the Napier Saber. I got two of them. Yeah. One of them's the correct engine for the airplane, and then the other one was maybe some kind of an airline version or something. But. Um, Ricardo's in England had looked into one of them. They said it looked pretty good inside. So, oh, okay. um, and this is the other warehouse. Oh my gosh! I I I I'm gonna give you guys uh, hands down. You're way more organized than my place. <laughs> Shit. Oh my gosh. Pretty cool. Unbelievable. What is that out of? A That's the Griffin out of the... Boat or something? Out of a boat. Uh, the original, it was... I don't know what the name of the boat. But was it made for a boat or was it like well, like Barney Little Budweiser? Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's an original. Oh, that's really? That's an original boat. English... Uh, uh, Boat, something compatible to the PT, uh, oh, PT oh, boat, oh, something see. big. I'll be done. Yeah, I don't remember what the name of it, but it's uh, they have one uh, one in England. It's only one in England. Unreal. Nose cases. Yeah, basically we have them on layers. This is all nose cases, optifulers, superchargers, crankcases, banks. So basically it's all huh. one layer. God, how long have you been involved in doing this? Uh, 33 years. Wow. Carburetors, fully manifolds. So were you back in the Zuchel days? No, no, I started right after that when Mike and, uh, and Zuchel, uh, when Mike started his company basically. Right. Yeah. So Mike had started that before Dave got killed, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. you know, the the day that he got killed, we had we were having the the grand opening right here in this in this company. Oh my God! Yeah. And that was a the day. Mojave? He, when the he was in Bakersfield. 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 Yeah, because he was going to come this way and huh. it didn't happen. Uh. It was uh, I think it was April '87, something like that, when we had the. So this is where the basically the round engine shop starts from here. Flowers. Okay. So this is the area where they do all cylinders. Uh huh. Thirty three fifty, eighteen twenty, twenty two hundred, twenty eight hundred, whatever it is. Round engine. This is the this is where they do. It. Huh. So as you can see, they come like this. They go into the other side for the cleaning. So and it goes there, and then it gets blasted, it gets cleaned up. It goes here, they change barrels, they change whatever needs to be changed. And then uh, wow. this is you were asking about the valve grinder. Yep. This is one of the valve grinders right here hmm. as well. So we have three three different ones. I'll be so. done. You got like a little conveyor line going here. Yes, yes, that's the way it works. Huh. So which engines do you all want to continue doing and which ones are you not going to be doing? Uh, 
That's a Mikey question. Okay. <laughs> All right. One thing I do. But you for sure, the for Merlins me, and the, the Merlin, Mer Merlins, the Griffins. Allisons and Griffins. Yeah. I'm going to keep going on those as right. far as, yeah. Yeah, whenever, as far as I can go. As far as Mike goes, um, he was getting tired of the 1820s and 3250s, so I don't know if he's going to continue doing some. We just wants to thin out the, the right. a little bit. Or well, is, it, is or anybody or else doing them now, like the 3350s? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a couple guys okay. still doing this other kind of stuff. There was a, I, there was a, I had a couple of 1830s on my C-47 when we flew across the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Man, those things, they were, and they were out of Canada somewhere. And man, those things did like a quart an hour the whole way per engine. They were just, they were just great engines. I don't know, I don't know who, what the shop was. I got it in the log books, but I just hadn't been. Is that a squirrel or a fox? Oh. Little squirrels. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. So this is what uh, the warehouse of Mike is trying to clean out. Oh my gosh. Just... Oh, and this is this is all radial stuff. This is all radial stuff. Now, is anybody using or doing 4360s? Uh, I think there's only like one or two out there. Right, they were like the Corsair guys. Yeah, there's not much. Yeah, and uh, probably be a while before the Spruce Goose flies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so you say this is a lot of 3350 stuff? 3350, 1820, and some 2600, and a little bit of everything else. So Carl's mainly interested in the 1820 and the 2600, okay. 600, yeah. Oh, that's good, okay. So, so, that's, so that's quite a bit of that in here as far as the 1820 stuff. I mean, actually, there's, I would say probably half of the warehouse is all 1820 stuff. Really? Yeah. And those are all? Cylinders, all different, oh you know, my brand new ones, brand new barrels inside those boxes. Got more in the back. I mean, there's brand new cranks. Hmm. Yeah, there's just a lot of brand new stuff. I will say, 80% of the stuff in this warehouse is brand new. Really? Yeah. Now the like the on. Did you guys ever do 2800s? No, he never. He never. Never messed with those. He never went into. Hmm. The only reason he started doing the 1820s and the 3350s is because. Uh, there was a couple of customers that came in and says, "Hey, you know, we haven't had much luck with the this yeah. engine, so can you start getting into them?" And he did. He started getting into them, but uh, hmm. yes, but now it's now he has a lot of German stuff as well going on. Oh, that's great. Well, I may have so one to send him at some point because I got a 109 G6 going together. I got a 605 for it. Yeah. So I think he's he's starting to realize there's a lot of stuff. Oh, totally. And he's probably, <laughs> you know, he's done this a long time. You know, why not focus on what he loves to do yeah. instead of what is just grinding through the door? Right. Yeah. yeah. Been, uh, I think this is what he's talking about. He's been doing this for like 44 years now. Oh, my God. I remember I was, uh, Mike was down with me at one point or something like that. We were heading to Oshkosh. He jumped in the mosquito. We went to Oshkosh in the mosquito one time. the German stuff. Oh, wow. So over here you see all kinds of... Uh, That's an Argus there, isn't it? Yeah. I'll be darned. So he, is he doing Arguses? He's going to be getting into this one. I'll be darned because I've got uh, I've got a, the Storch a 108 and I've got three overhauled spares when they did the Hello. Hey, what's going on? We're just looking around. All this right. this got to be out of a 108. Is that what it is? I don't know. He just, he just, this just came in. Huh. I, mean, I don't even know what, um, 
is the first time I've seen it. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Yeah. 6.05. 6.05. We got some humos. All this stuff is humo. I'll be darn. Well, that's good to know. I've got a 6.03 if anybody's interested. Yeah, actually, I, I was. I think I sent you an email a couple of uh, months to three months back. Really? No, I don't remember. Uh, I remember. I don't know. Uh, this is the 601. Hmm. 601 there. And what's the difference? Just the horsepower? It's like a from like a, a Merlin and a Griffin? From a 605? Yeah. Or, yeah, it's a little a little different internally. Well, or it's, it's like a Dash 1 Merlin and a Dash yeah, 7? More like a dash yeah, more like Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. This one right here is a uh, BMW? BMW 801. I'll be darned. Where's that going? That's going to uh, Collins. Whoa. Collins Foundation. For a Fock Wolf 190. Yeah. That's a uh, fuel injection for uh, is for that a DB? A DB? Yeah. I'll tell you something else at some point that Mike or somebody's going to have to deal with is... Uh, uh, I've got a Jerry Yegan and I got those Tonys, you know, that used that HA40, right. which was a kind of a Japanese version of a, Tony, you know, huh? of a yeah. of a DB, you know. So mm -hmm. he's got he's got an, a pretty good engine that was like a, a war thing that they grabbed and they actually tested, mm -hmm. and uh, he's got a pretty good one. I've got some stuff that came out of you know New Guinea and stuff, so I don't know what's good or what's not, but. I suppose the worst case basis is I could put a 601 in it, but right. anyway. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's what we have. Is there any, is there any uh, unique things about the, yeah, the, the see, German this is, technology? This is the, same, this is the same way. Okay, you see how they the have Allison, the lobes on it? right? Yeah, and then they actually have one, um, one lobe. Uh, was it this one or the other one? Yeah, right here. The same lobe runs the inner and the outer. And the, the German one has. Well, you say the same lobe rooms, the inner and the outer, so it's, so yeah, it's see. got a little. Oh, really? Yeah, see the one lobe? Oh, one yeah, lobe yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But, 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 right but, but then that doesn't allow you any valve overlap, does it? Yeah. It yeah, does. The way they, yeah, the way they set it up. But if you look at this one, there's another one. Oh, right here. Whoa. Crusty one. On the. On the, this also German. This is this is the the six so, uh, uh This is the Yumo. This is actually Jagens, Jerry Jagens. I'll be done. You see this one? Operates, a two thirteen. Yes, sir. Two thirteen. This one operates exhaust, and this one operates the intake. So they did they did found something that it was okay. Yeah, this right. is this is a better I'll way to be go. I'll be darn. Hmm. So and then of course the Alice and the Merlins, you know, they have. What's this go on? Uh, 190D model. Oh, okay, but it's a it's a replica one. It's not a. Uh, you know, yeah. You do, right? Yeah, really. <laughs> it's better than not have one flying at all. Yeah, that's true. Awesome. Yeah, an original one is always better, but. God, man. So how many? I mean, there's not very many of those 801s around. No. No, there's that's pretty uh, rare. pieces here and there, but uh, not complete ones. Hmm. But they also, some of these 801s went in like bombers and stuff, but it's a different case and stuff. It's or? a little different, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. With all of this German stuff, they're all different. Themselves. Everything's different. I've got huh. a bunch of 211s next door, and every bloody one of them's got variation in components. All these are. Huh. Too cool. Too cool, Kermit. I know who you are. Yeah, I got you. What's your name? The, Michael. Mike, pleasure. Yeah. I'm punching that like button on all your videos. Oh, you are. Oh, my God. Well, thank you. Good, good, good. Oh. My God. I'm having fun doing it, so thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Oh, hey, you know what? I learn a lot of stuff. Yeah, so. well, yeah, I do too, you know. And there's nobody else doing this, you know. Great. I mean, I, I come here every day and you know, digging through this stuff. I mean, I love this German stuff. I love this Japanese stuff because I, I'm learning so much. Awesome. It's just unbelievable. I mean, the 211 stuff, I'm just so, I'm so into the two, that. The 211? Yumo 211. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so what they use that in? Uh, 
Stuka. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but but who's doing it for what project? Well, it's top secret. Oh, it's top I'm not, secret. I'm not to talk about it probably sounds like <laughs> or somebody, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> well, I'm not, not gonna say that. that. That was a guess. Yeah. That was um, a guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, 88, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be darned. Um, what was I just gonna say? So, so is anybody doing the uh, the Ash engines that they were doing for like the? You know the Russian ones? You are? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. We're about ready to pull one out of a can out here that was a prop strike that belongs to Ericsson. Awesome. And what was that? Ash? 82s. 82s. Yeah, yeah, okay. We got two. We'll yeah. see two on the way out. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, that, that's great to know because I got three Tupolov 2s that are freaking prime re We're restoration in. projects. Absolutely. We can do one it. One day. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. We got all the tooling and then the racks. And, I mean, we've done... This guy know. just cost me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> we try. We try. Okay. Give me a couple extra clicks on my YouTube Absolutely. button. Yeah, hey, thanks. It's super thanks. To restore them. All right. Good deal. Thank you. Well, thank you. That's awesome. Oh, the uh, the Centaurus. Let me just touch that.